Hi, I'm Steve. Today I've made this video, which I think is pretty cool. I wanted to be able to show you the internals of a reverse osmosis storage tank, sometimes referred to as an expansion tank. This is a two-part system. So right here we have what's called the Schrader valve. Uh, you should be familiar with this. All automobiles have this on the tire, and this is where you introduce air into the storage tank. The confusing part is you have one tank and you put air in here, water up here. So when I take this apart, you'll probably better be able to understand why it's like that. This is where the air pressure enters from the bottom. This is actually your reservoir for your reverse osmosis water, which holds approximately two gallons. This is just about two gallons. And so we put air in the bottom of the tank so that it can uh, compress the bag. So when you open the faucet, this bag begins to shrink and lets the water out. But it needs a little bit of assistance. So when you're changing your filters, what you're going to want to do is to adjust the air. So what I'm going to tell you here is that this tank weighs seven pounds without water in it. If you open your faucet and the water's running slow and then, it, of course, it runs out. If you were to pick up this tank and it weighs, you know, 20 pounds, what you'd be experiencing is that the, there's no air inside of here, so the bag just sits there and holds the water. So by having the proper amount of pressure on the other side, the bag gets fully depressed, and uh, that's the best way to operate one of these tanks. So I hope this was a good visual for you so that you understand this part of your reverse osmosis. Thank you for watching.